I'm going to do a hypothesis test for two independent means from the homework. Here's they give us some data up in this chart here. Men, mu1 is the first mean, women, mu2 is the second mean. They're talking about their temperatures. And um, with a 0.01 significance level, that's the alpha, test the claim that men have a higher body temperature than women. So the men's are higher. So the claim is mu1 is more than mu2. And I can get this thing set up by looking at the setup chart. So it's more than is the line I want to look at in the setup chart. So it's this first line here that's going to set it up for me. So the claim is mu1 is greater than mu2. The opposite is mu1 is less than or equal to mu2. The null hypothesis is mu1 equals mu2, which is not from the original claim. And the alternate hypothesis is mu1 is greater than mu2, mu1 greater than mu2, which makes for a right tail test. And that's what the homework wants to know is the null and alternate hypothesis. So going back to the homework question, let's see, the null and, all, and, all, and alternate hypothesis. So which one has null is equal and H1 is mu1 greater than mu2? It is C. Okay, now to get the test statistic and the p-value, we'll let the calculator do that for us. So let's get out of there. Now to do this one, I'm going to stat tests, and this one is called two samp t test. And I'm going to use the stats option here, not the data option. So the x1 and the sx1 are the mean and standard deviation from the first sample, and the n1 is the sample size. Similarly for x2, sx2, and n2. So for x1 bar, I'm entering the mean from the men's population, which was 97.62. 97.62. For the standard deviation from the men's population, that was 0 0.92. 0 0.92. The sample size for the men's population was 11. Now for the women's group, the mean temperature was 97.35, 97.35. The standard deviation was 0.64. And the sample size was 59 women. To match the form of the alternate hypothesis, it was a right tail test, which means mu1 was greater than mu2. So I want to arrow across to greater than mu2 and hit enter. Pools is always going to be no. There was something in the question about don't assume that they have the same standard deviation. That's the pool does no. Pools is always going to be no. And the color only matters if we're drawing something which we're not doing. And when I hit calculate, whoops, look what happened. I have to check this. Sometimes this happened. Notice that the mu1 says not equal to mu2. And sometimes that happens when you arrow down in this test. So that's, I think, actually a bug in the software. But anyway, make sure that it's a right tail test. See, now when I arrow down, it stayed as a right tail test. And now when I hit calculate, that T value, the 0.9322, that's the test statistic that the answer wants. 0.9322, the p-value, the 0.1849, that's the p-value that we're going to compare with the significance of the test. And when I go back to the question in the homework, so the test statistic, I want it to two decimal places. The test statistic to two decimal places was 0.93. Whoops, 0.93, and the p-value to three decimal places was 0 0.185, 0 0.185, and now we can state the conclusion. Notice that the p-value 
0.185 is greater than the significance of the test, which was 0.01. So we're going to fail to reject H null, which on the original setup was not from the original claim. So fail to reject, not from the original claim. When I look at the conclusion, I'm going to fail to reject, not from the original claim. There is not sufficient evidence to support the claim. There is not sufficient evidence to support the claim. So when I go back to the question, let's see, we fail to reject. There is not sufficient evidence to support the claim. That's the very first one. There's no need to read on. When I check answer, good job. 